What do you think of when you hear the word creation? Maybe you think of something that you made and, and maybe somebody would call it your creation. You created it, it's your creation, something you made. Maybe uh, you've been told that you're creative, which just means that you have a lot of good ideas and maybe ideas that other people haven't thought of. Well, today in worship, we are talking about creation. And we are talking about uh, the story of creation from the Bible. The story of God creating the earth from nothing. So I want you to think back to that scripture and think of some of the things that, that were created. There's a whole bunch of them. Because remember, at the beginning, there was nothing. There was darkness. And so light was created. Water was created. Air and the sky were created. Dry land was created. All of the creatures that swim in the sea and all of the things that creep and crawl on the land were all created. The things that grow on the earth, the grass and the trees, all the plants, all of those were created. And people were created too. People were created to take care of the earth and to take care of one another. So if I ask you, what is your favorite part of creation or what do you enjoy the most in creation? What would you say? I want you to spend some time thinking about this because we are going to um, do something with this later in worship today. So you're first of all gonna think your favorite part about creation or what do you enjoy the most? The next thing that I want you to think about is what part of creation would you miss the most if it were no longer here? I'll share a little story with you. Um, when I graduated from college, um, I went to school here in Iowa City, so when I graduated, I moved from Iowa to Phoenix, Arizona, and I lived there for about a year. Now, um, if you know very much about geography, uh, you would know that Arizona is a desert, a lot of Arizona is a desert, so it's very dry. Um, there is a lot of sand and rocks. Um, it's very brown, and, and it's, it's beautiful in its own ways, um, but it's very different than than the nature that we have around us here in Iowa. And so something I didn't anticipate was the first thing that I noticed the first time I came back to visit Iowa after I had moved to Arizona was how green everything was here. The, the grass was green and beautiful and the crops along the interstate, um, the, the tall trees that were so green, everything was just so green and lush and rich. I didn't think that I would miss something as silly as grass um, or trees, but I really did miss that part of creation. Now, I don't know if that's what I am going to put as my favorite part of creation that I miss today, but keep thinking about those two things. What is your favorite part of creation? what you enjoy the most, and what would you miss the most if it was no longer here? Let's say a prayer. Creator God, we give you thanks for all of creation, all of the things that come to our minds easily, and those things that maybe don't come to our minds and we realize later on that are a part of creation. Every part of creation is beautiful and valuable, and God, we thank you that we get to enjoy that. God, help us to remember that it is our job to take care of creation, to take care of 
the land and the water, the air, the sky, and to take care of the animals, the creatures, the plants, the trees, and to take care of one another. So God, today, especially today, help us to enjoy all of the creation that we get to be in and be part of. In the name of your son, Jesus, who we seek to follow, we pray all of this. Amen.